Taiwan is not the only country, although the world has woken up to how Taiwan has been suffering at the hands of China. But Taiwan is not the only country. India and Taiwan both have been at the receiving end of Chinese aggression. How then do you think both countries should come together to tackle and contain China's illegal claims? Uh, I think this is a very important issue for us to deal with. Uh, if you look at the situation in the, this part of the world, uh, Taiwan is not the only country that is facing problems in this regard. Uh, look at East China Sea. I'm sure Japan also has plenty of problems in dealing with China. Uh, the disputed water uh, has been uh, invaded, not invaded, but uh, being intruded uh, repeatedly uh, in the last few months. And in the South China Sea, I'm sure the uh, countries surrounding South China Sea have also uh, been seeing the same problem. And we also noticed uh, the uh, dispute along the uh, India-China border. And therefore, you can see that uh, we are facing the same issue. And that issue is the expansionism of authoritarian Chinese Communist Party. And we have to think about a way for democracies, for like-minded countries to work further together. Uh, we have traditional good relations with the United States, with Japan, and we want to develop closer ties with India as well. Uh, in, in order for Taiwan and India to work with each other in that regard, uh, I think we need to start by thinking on uh, how to exchange views or intelligence with each other on the situation that we face and try to explore the possible areas of uh, cooperation. And we in Taiwan have the full intention in working together with India, uh, even though uh, this is not a military alliance type of relationship. But I think for like-minded countries to work together in exchanging views with each other, to understand about each other, it's going to be very important. And it's important for Taiwan, and I'm sure it's going to be important for India as well. You talk about countries coming together. You talk about like-minded nations coming together. The United States of America has come forth to support Taiwan in its in its struggle and uh, and in its uh, entire approach uh, to having its territorial integrity intact. Having said that, the United Nations is yet to recognize Taiwan. Do you think it is time that the world? that the United Nations comes out and recognizes Taiwan as a nation that it was a part of in the, in the, in the earlier days. And now it is time that Taiwan is brought back to the UN fold, even though we know that there is a veto yielding China that could stop that move. Uh, I would uh, say that it is time for the international community and the international organizations to consider seriously the existence of Taiwan and to think seriously on how to incorporate Taiwan into the international organizations. Uh, anyone who has any experience with Taiwan, uh, we have 23 million people, even though it's much smaller than India, but at least it's a mid-sized country. Uh, and Taiwan is a democracy. Uh, we have a democratic government that is publicly and democratically elected by the people here in Taiwan. And we also have a vibrant press uh, freedom of speech has been observed by the government. And therefore, uh, for the international community to understand that Taiwan is in existence outside China, uh, it's going to be very important. Uh, many countries uh, think that uh, there's a one China policy that China represents Taiwan, but that is not true. You know, historically, uh, beginning from 1949, uh, Taiwan has not been any part of China. And that is beginning from the day that the People's Republic of China is established. The two sides have been separated. And therefore, China cannot represent Taiwan internationally. And only the democratic, democratically elected government in Taiwan can lawfully represent the Taiwanese people. And Taiwanese people have the same right as the right of any other country to be represented in international organizations in the UN or UN-affiliated organizations. And uh, we are not just trying to pursue our participation in international organizations such as UN or WHO. What we want to do is to be able to make contributions to international society. Uh, we have been working together with some other democratic countries in making Taiwan's contribution. 
Uh, and uh, we are a country that is well experienced in dealing with public health issues. And therefore, uh, during the pandemic, uh, we have been providing assistance to many other countries uh, in terms of a relief material or other type of assistance. Uh, we even have a video conference with uh, some Indian hospitals, uh, working together with them to build up uh, the safeguard to combat COVID-19. And therefore, for Taiwan to be able to participate in international organizations such as WHO, is not only working in the benefit of Taiwan people, but also working in the benefit for other countries. And excluding Taiwan is not in the interest of Taiwan and it's not in the interest of international society. Taiwan, as I said, uh, has been threatened by China for years. And Taiwan happens to be on the front line of the Chinese expansionism. Taiwan is the democracy, and we want to fight for our existence, and we want to be prevail so that democracy around the world can prevail. Hi, everyone. Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.